Hey there everyone, welcome back to another update preview video, where today we'll be showing off one of our biggest features to date, the Cursed City. The gates to this accursed place, also known by the city's original name of Cintranos, will be open soon, so let's find out what challenges await, and the rewards you'll be reaping. First things first, Cursed City is a brand new game mode available to players of level 52 and above. The name isn't just for show either, you have an entire city to explore here. There's 100 stages spread across four districts, with each district getting progressively harder to complete. There's new challenges and fiendish twists on old classics. Then there's the Eclipse Tower, home to Raid's newest boss, and the current Lord of Centranos, Amius the Lunar Archon. In order to take on this moon-obsessed recluse, you'll need to unlock the path to him. Each month, a new rotation of the Cursed City will begin, resetting your progress from the previous month. The stages of each district in the Cursed City will remain the same, but the requirements you'll need to beat them will change. We'll describe those later in the video. Entering stages of the Cursed City is similar to Doom Tower rooms, in that you'll need Cursed City keys. You'll get a set number of these each day, and they won't be spent unless you successfully complete the stage you're taking on. You can't buy these or stack them over multiple days, so use them or lose them. The Cursed City has two difficulties, normal and hard. The default difficulty will be set to hard, but you can switch at any point. Cursed City keys aren't tied to either difficulty, Although you'll get enough keys to complete all stages in both difficulties, it would be prudent to plan your progress rather than switch around wildly. Now, here comes the fun part. You can chart your own journey through the Cursed City. You always start in the District of Cobble Market, but the path you take from there is up to you. You can head straight for the biggest enemies you can find first, or indulge your inner completionist and try to clear every stage of a district before moving on. That's how it works. But it'd be a pretty short update preview video if we just left it there, right? The Cursed City is split into four districts. Cobble Market, Dead Rise, Plague Home, and Soul Cross, with each district getting progressively harder. You're eased into the horrors of the Cursed City through Cobble Market. Dead Rise and Plague Home are where the difficulty climbs slightly, and Soul Cross, well, Soul Cross is the stuff nightmares are made of. Each district has exactly 25 stages, and that number won't change between rotations. The other thing that won't change is the position of individual stages on the map, or the paths that connect them. Urban redevelopment is not high up on Amius' list of priorities. Each stage within the districts can be one of four types. Regular, Boss, Double Boss, or Awakening. Let's run through them one by one. Regular stages are your standard, run-of-the-mill battles and raid, like you'd find in the campaign. You'll fight across three rounds, with a wave of enemies in each round. You've faced these types of battles hundreds of times before, but the ones found in the Cursed City might be a little more difficult than you're used to. Next up, we've got Awakened Stages. As the name implies, you'll need to bring your Awakened Champions to take on these stages. Each Awakened Stage requires a certain number of Awakening levels across your whole team, indicated by red stars on a champion's portrait. So, if an Awakened Stage requires six red stars, you could bring one champion with six red stars on their portrait, or two champions with three red stars, and so on. Once the requirement has been met, you can then focus on filling out your team with the best champions for the job. Completing Awakened Stages isn't necessary to get to Amius the Lunar Archon. They can offer an alternative route, though, and give you some pretty sweet rewards when completing them for the first time. Moving on, we've got Boss Stages. Here, you'll be taking on some of Teleria's most famous foes, like the Iron Twins of Aoname the Sand Devil. A quick glimpse at the Cursed City map reveals that these Boss Stages are often located at key landmarks like bridges between districts or paths leading to the next kind of stage, Double Boss. Yep, that's right, the bad guys are teaming up. There are 12 Double Boss stages in total, with three popping up in each district. The location of the Double Boss stages in each rotation of the Cursed City will always be the same. You'll also find that the boss duos will scale with each district's difficulty. So don't worry about walking into Cobble Market and facing off against Astronix the Dark Fey immediately. You'll need to clear these double boss stages in order to get Eclipse Keys. Collecting three Eclipse Keys will grant you passage into the Eclipse Tower at the center of the Cursed City, and let you take on Amius the Lunar Archon. We'll release a separate video talking about that fight, but for now, let's just focus on getting you there. 
Each of the three Eclipse Keys can be found in one of the double boss stages in Cobble Market, Dead Rise, and Plague Home. The location of the Eclipse Key within each district will also change with each rotation and will always be random, but you'll see it in the stage rewards. Knowing about the types of stages is helpful, but it's not quite that simple in Cursed City. Every single stage, including boss stages, will have a number of restrictions on the champions you can bring. Think of Doom Tower secret rooms and you'll get the general idea. Some will restrict which rarity of champion you can bring, or perhaps which affinity, type, or faction. Some of these restrictions are unique to the hard difficulty, however, and you won't have to worry about them on normal. These unique stage restrictions will change with every rotation, so don't expect to be able to rely on the same path. You'll have to change up how you traverse the districts. All right, we've covered a lot here, so quick recap. You have a full month to explore the Cursed City. Find the Eclipse Keys from Double Boss Stages and storm the Eclipse Tower to defeat Amius the Lunar Archon. How you weave your way through the streets of Centranos is up to you. Now let's get on to quests and rewards. As you're exploring the Cursed City, there are dedicated Cursed City quests for you to complete. They're pretty simple. Things like complete a specific number of stages, complete awakened stages, defeat Amius himself, you get the gist. Each Cursed City quest you complete will earn you Cursed Candles. Collect enough candles and you can earn rewards. Clearing stages of the Cursed City on hard difficulty will grant you occult Cursed Candles, as well as access to a unique chain of one-time rewards, including a mythical champion, Carnage the Anarch. This ancient demon spawn is a living avatar of chaos and is the one responsible for the evil plaguing Centranos, so he'll be sure to bring some firepower to your champion collection. You'll need a couple of successful visits through Centranos to get enough occult cursed candles to acquire Carnage, though, so be sure to check in daily and use those cursed city keys. You want more? We've got more. Even after you've claimed all of the one-time rewards, completing cursed city quests will give you cursed chests. These contain a variety of useful treasures, including mythical skill tomes and souls to awaken Carnage. As if all of that wasn't enough for you, there are also one-time rewards when you beat a stage for the first time, similar to the Doom Tower. They'll also reset with each rotation. Rewards differ on normal and hard difficulty, and they'll become more valuable as you progress through the districts. All stages will drop rewards, but the best stuff is saved for those brave or foolish enough to take on double boss stages. Some of the rewards will include Cursed Remnants, which you can collect to summon epic and mythical champions. There's also a new type of charm for crafting mythical artifacts in the Forge, which can be used on any artifact set. You may also earn Cursed Chests from some stages, and these can contain gear from two new artifact sets. Let's take a look at what they can do. Introducing the Supersonic and Merciless Gear Sets. They are variable gear sets, meaning you get new bonuses for each artifact or accessory equipped, all the way up to a maximum of 9 pieces. First up, we have the Supersonic set. Need your champions to go fast. This is the set for you. It offers boost to HP and resistance, as well as a massive increase to speed. But the real bonuses from this set include chances to manipulate your turn meter when equipped with 4, 6, or 9 pieces. You can see these bonuses on screen now. Put it on champions you need to be fast, and they'll be zooming. The second gear set is Merciless. This is perfect for damage dealers who are laser-focused on wiping out their enemies in a single strike. It increases the wearer's attack, critical damage, and speed, as well as offering a little bit of ignore defense for good measure. There's also chances to reduce cooldowns and gain extra turns with the bonuses for either having four or nine pieces equipped, which you can see on your screen now. Whew! I believe that's everything. We hope you're as excited as we are to dive into everything that the Cursed City has to offer. Keep your eyes peeled for another video coming soon, where we'll talk more about the big bad boss of the Cursed City, Amius the Lunar Archon. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the awesome things coming to Raid. Until next time!